not provide job security, and this can create fear, uncertainty, and feelings of powerlessness. Here with tips is Ken Dolan, Del Vecchio, author, family therapist, health and wellness executive. Thanks so much for taking the time. Great to be with you, Lauren, and that's what I've seen. I've seen many people who are frightened, and it's reasonable to mm -hmm. be frightened, and what they do is they lay low, they don't raise suggestions, they try not to draw attention. And the reality is that that's not the right strategy because it tends to identify you as somebody who doesn't have a lot of confidence, mm -hmm. who maybe doesn't have a lot of energy, maybe doesn't have a lot to contribute. But it does make sense on some level because people do feel insecure. What I've seen that works better is to say what you gotta say, mm -hmm. raise your creative thoughts, and, and also, very, very important in this day and age is to recognize that all of us don't just have one job. Mm -hmm. We may think we have one job, but we at least have two jobs. Mm -hmm. And the second job is your plan B. Your, the second job is to be thinking about what do I want to do down the road a ways? What skills might I need to sharpen or develop? What courses may I need to take? Mm -hmm. Do I have my resume up to date? Am I building a network of contacts who respect and will help me? Because when we do that, we then develop a level of security sure. that's really important. Now, before we get into the second job, I want to go more in detail into that in a little bit. First, I want to talk about it's so easy to become a yes man. I mean, there's a whole movie about it. Just being able, you know, when you, when you get into a new environment, a new workplace, you have managers or, you know, upper management okay. that you are, you know, you're under them. And frankly, some people are scared of who they work under. Absolutely. So they just want to become yes men, do whatever they say, make them happy. But that's really not what is making themselves happy. It's what's making other people happy. Right. And it also, again, it doesn't distinguish them as a person who's a strong contributor. Mm -hmm. They may feel like that's the way to get along and get by, but it doesn't help them to be a person who is perhaps going to be seen as the, the right kind of person to advance sure. in the company. And it also doesn't help them because it doesn't help them to take on new responsibilities. It kind of keeps them in this one place. And it kind of makes you, you know, it kind of crushes your confidence because if you're a bold person, you want to be able to speak your mind. You want to be able to have suggestions for a company, even if it's, you know, just a small suggestion. I think what I was taught as a kid is just ask. All you, the worst thing that can happen is that they say no. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and recently, I created a program and one of our senior executives came to it, and another colleague of mine said, how did you get him to come? I said, I asked. Yeah, <laughs> the worst exactly. you'll get is a no. Exactly. The worst thing, you know, and a lot of people are afraid of the no. Yeah. A lot of people, you know, it crushes them when they hear the word no. Yeah. But the fact that, you know, that's how you grow. That's how you grow as an individual. That's how you grow as a business. That's how you grow as an employee or an employer. You know, getting shut down every now and then is probably good for you. And just knowing, knowing that you're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Another way to take care of that is to pay close attention to your financial security, mm -hmm. which That's means huge. you do some saving, if it's at all possible, within your budget. You watch your credit card debt. You try not to have any. And you pay attention to only buying things that you need so that you don't go with the whole consumerist frenzy. The more we have a bit of a cushion the more we're going to feel like I can say what I need to say, I can contribute what I have mm -hmm. to contribute, and I can also be looking for my next best opportunity. All of that is empowering. And that is all part of this second job that yes. we all have for ourselves. Yeah. You want to have that confidence in yourself that, God forbid, the job that you're in right now, if you say something and it happens to be that you know, you're not the perfect fit for them anymore. Having this second option and this cushion to fall back on is so important, not only for your well-being, but also for your mind. Absolutely, and, and there's a paradox here, and that mm -hmm. is that the more secure you feel, the more likely you're to be, you will be courageous, mm -hmm. and the more you're gonna be seen as somebody who your employer wants to hang on to. So there's, there's a bit of a, you wouldn't necessarily expect that, but that's the way it works. It really is a fine line. I mean, you don't want to go into your boss and be like, rah, 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 and speak your, speak your complete mind. You want to do it in a respectful manner. Absolutely. And definitely know that there's a time and place for everything and the things that you 
you say and be responsible. And the best leaders want that. They want you to say what you have to say. They want your creativity. They want your constructive challenges. Mm -hmm. They see that as extremely valuable. Added value to the company. Ken, I want to thank you so much for coming in. And for more information about this segment or so many more, you can visit us online at mymassappeal.com.